Welcome to Wrexham AFC on YouTube. Wrexham versus Chesterfield joins the likes of The Godfather and Back to the Future in its famous trilogies. This the third time the sides have met in the space of seven days. Three substitutes linked up well to get the equaliser on Saturday, meaning JJ Hooper gets his first start following injury. Devontae Redmond also comes into the side after his equaliser whilst James Horsfield gets a full debut at the racecourse ground this evening. Chesterfield with wholesale changes from the side that took on Wrexham on Saturday and Tuesday. They were unchanged tonight. The likes of Luke Coddington, former Wrexham goalkeeper, comes in in place of former Wrexham goalkeeper Shawan Jalal. Scott Bowden comes into the starting lineup, as does Anthony Spiru, two ex Wrexham players, Mike Fondop and Tom Denton, drop to the bench. So the referee making his final checks, Devontae Redmond will get us underway. The third game in a row that these two sides have faced off against each other. Wrexham haven't won the previous two. Of course, they did get the leveller in the initial tie of the FA Cup to take it to this replay. Barton, Horsfield, great play from Horsfield. Still going, could run into traffic though, almost gets through. Chambers gets it forward, looking to put to bed his own goal from last week as Grant's backed into, doesn't matter, he's still on the ball, shoots at goal and well, that wasn't, that far away. Coddington was confident enough to leave it, but that looked for a moment like it would have caught Coddington out. Of course, Bobby Grant scored his seventh goal in all competitions on Saturday. Wrexham's top goal scorer this season. And again, Wrexham finding Horsfield. Redmond making a run. It's good football from Wrexham early on. Horsfield, that's a really good ball. If you can find Hooper, heads it down. Bobby Grant just couldn't get there. Again, really good work from Wrexham in the build up there. Plenty of movement in the box. Go to the back stick, it's headed towards goal. And how on earth has that not ended up in the back of the net? Akil right threw himself at it. Didn't see who got the final touch, but. Looked like it could have been Jake Lawler. Just couldn't keep it down. And Chesterfield come away with a goal kick. Spyru chances for Chesterfield. Has he taken the heavy touch? He has. Couldn't divert it towards goal. Horsfield was there. The first bit of defending Wrexham have had to do. Akil Wright wins a foul. Barton. Grant. Jennings is there on the left-hand side. Chipped in by Jennings. Great ball in. Finds Akil Wright. Jennings gets to the byline. Ball in. Rutherford heads towards goal. Well over, but again, Wrexham showing good intent. Now a chance for Chesterfield to get forward once more. Sheridan with a crossing opportunity, that's poor and only as far as Adam Barton, who again has been solid in the opening stages here. Gets it to Akil Wright, Jennings now on the ball as Wrexham bring it over halfway. JJ Hooper. Rutherford. Good hold up play from Paul Rutherford. And now Jennings has got acres of space to drive into. Hooper, 1 0. <laughs> On his first start since returning from injury, JJ Hooper gets on the score sheet. And that was a really nice finish as well. Excellent play from Paul Rutherford. Great. Vision from Jennings to drive into the space and an unorthodox cheeky finish from JJ Hooper puts Wrexham in front.
in this FA Cup replay. Wrexham 1, Chesterfield 0. So a chance for Chesterfield here as the board for added time goes up. One minute is what we'll have at the end of the first. Ball in, headed towards goal. Good save from Langton. Had to be alert to that. It was down the middle of the goal. Well, down to it. Well, and denying Chesterfield here. The fourth official has indicated a minimum of one minute at the time. At the time, that my race course is sponsored by the Compass. Well, open the company. Bobby Grant to Horsfield. Grant gets his body in. Has a shot from distance and slices it to be kind. Well, half time. A good half for Wrexham as well. They take a lead into the break. Wrexham 1, Chesterfield 0. And the referee can finally get the game underway. Nepo Mukeno is over this, as is Mandeville. One of them may strike it. it. Is the first, and that's just wide. Corner ball, Langton with a good save. Hard to get down to it. Bending and difficult to deal with. Mandeville. Looking for Bowden, he's onside. That's a great ball, Scott Bowden against his former club. Good save from Rob Langton. <laughs> Scott Bowden, almost the second former Wrexham striker on the score sheet in this FA Cup tie. Mike Fondop getting one on Saturday. Bowden denied by Rob Langton in the replay. JJ Hooper, first start since Hartley Pool away at the end of August. Rewarded with a goal in the first half. He's replaced by Mark Harris. So Luke Young, the man to come on. He replaces Devontae Redmond. He's got a solid game himself, Redmond. Chambers, to the precarious position, tidies up really well, here's Akil Wright, Luke Young didn't play that ball to Horsfield, good tackle by Akil Wright teaming up with Young there, Horsfield forward for Bobby Grant, Horsfield rushing forward and Wrexham have got plenty of bodies there, play through to Harris, he's onside, can he finish, good save from Cunnington and another great save from the former Wrexham keeper. Wrexham looks sure fire to make it 2-0 there. Can Chesterfield go up the other end and make it one all? So dangerous area this for Chesterfield. Flicked towards goal by Bowden. No one could get on the end of it. Bowden holding it up nicely. Distributes that to the left-hand side. Bodies in the box. They can find the cross. They do, Jennings is there, and well, that almost ricocheted into the back of the net. Wrexham. Cross comes in, Denton's there. Arms failing everywhere, Denton, Bowden, looping. One gets it away. Hooked forward for Sheridan, kept in by McGlashan. Dancing feet from McGlashan. Sheridan aiming at the head of Tom Denton. Goes over everybody. It's a goal kick. Corrects them. Make their third and final switch of the game. Luke Summerfield will come on. He replaces Akil Wright. 
Baller comes in, away by Summerfield. Harris is chasing. In it goes, Denton looking to head on. Chambers does well, he's got a foot to it. Young slips. Long ball into the box, aimed at Denton again. Headed down, Bowden's there. Denton, the chance arise, no. Wrexham deny once more as the crowd gets behind them. Smith is there. With Denton on the pitch, expect to see plenty of long balls into Wrexham's box. It's how they deal with them. Summerfield, Harris. Ball over the top. Mark Harris will get there, will he? Coddington's there as well. Risky move for Coddington that pays off. If Harris had got there first, the cup tie would have surely been over. Well, there will be three minutes, according to the fourth official. Denton heads inside. Ball out wide, crossing opportunity. Denton's there, as is Bowden and McGlashan. Denton flicks it on, Bowden's there, McGlashan's there. Oh, how on earth have Chesterfield not scored? Brilliant goalkeeping from Rob Linton again. You can tell how much he wants that clean sheet. There are Chesterfield players on their knees after that one. Still got the three minutes of added time, though. Corner comes in. Denton beats Chambers, but his ball only finds Young. Harris, back to Chambers, finds Rutherford, oh surely Wrexham, they've got to tie up the tie now, it's Bobby Grant, oh it's saved by Coddington, they should be home and dry. In it goes, oh, goal kick to Wrexham. It flashed across goal. No one could get a decisive touch on it. Denton. Bowden beaten in the air by Chambers. Wrexham win a foul. And Wrexham win the cup tie. A first round proper matchup with Rochdale at the race course beckons. Following the trio of games, Wrexham finally have victory over the Spyrites. JJ Hooper on his return to the starting 11 with the decisive goal. It's finished here, Wrexham 1, Chesterfield 0.